let's talk about when and how to change the needles on a Stinger soy machine. So we're working on a Stinger Elite ME457, but if you have any Stinger soy machine, this video will assist with you. This one's a mechanical machine, and so if you do have one that's got dials, all of the videos we're doing on this model will probably relate to the Stinger soy machine that you have yourself. If you got one that has buttons and computerized, we do have a different model we've recently filmed and all the great tutorials because again, instead of dials, all you have to do is touch a button and there's a few extra features on there. But when it comes to needles, honestly, a Singer machine is gonna all do it about the same thing. Now, one thing you can do before you take any needles out or start to, is if you just slide a piece of fabric underneath your foot, you won't accidentally drop your needle down into the machine. Not that it's hard to get it out, but it takes more time and you're like, oh no, I should have put something there. So that's an, the thing that will help you. Next, you'll probably wanna find your screwdriver just to assist. Now I am gonna talk about when you tighten your screw, you don't wanna like over tighten it with the screwdriver. This particular one has an easy thumb screw. So, but if your hands don't have the strength to tighten it so enough so it doesn't uh, fall out, you might wanna just do this oh so slightly. So again, you don't wanna over tighten, crank it down. That's gonna not hold after a while. It's a gentle tighten enough so the needle doesn't fall out. The needles that came with your machine, they just give you kind of a little basic pack so you have a few extra. So this will get you started. There are links below this video tutorial where you can buy more needles. Plus they do not have to have a brand of Singer needle on them. As long as they're a home soy machine needle, you can buy many different brands of needles and they will all work in this machine. So when do you need to change them? So first off, I will have to say there is a little picture right here. I've noticed a little sticker and it has six to eight hours and a needle at the rotation. I guess that's the universal symbol of change your needle every six to eight hours. That's a lot of sewing. Now that could be for you a day's worth of sewing. Uh, for me, that's hard to judge because I sew a little here and a little there. It's not really six continuous hours. We might think we sew all day, but really how much of the machine time is it running? So that's always a question I have. So here's my quick answer to when to change needles. Number one, if you are starting to hear a little tick, tick to the stitch as it's trying to punch itself through the fabric, that would be number one, change your needle. If you've stitched over a pin and you kind of nick the pin on one of those stitches, change your needle. If you are sewing along and your thread just randomly breaks in the middle of your seam, it is not your sewing machine. All it is, it's time for a new needle. Change that needle and don't forget to clean out underneath the throat plate. Lint does get down there and that can also affect the thread breaking randomly. But most of the time, if you just get a new needle in there and then clean it too, that will uh, make a difference. Um, it, you know, sometimes if you just don't have a big enough needle for the thickness of fabric you're going through, it will break. Obviously, you gotta change it then. So just note that there are different sizes of needles for different fabrics, and then also different sizes of needles for different threads. So those all have to play nicely together. So it's pretty easy to change a needle. You might even lower your presser foot down, give yourself a little bit more room inside here and then I'm, I've loosened this enough yes so I can just take my thumb and fingers and it'll drop right out the key is the flat side of the needle needs to be towards the back and as you bring it up you do need to make sure it gets as high as possible so just make sure you're not just sticking it up and tightening it make sure it gets as high up there and it won't go any further finger tighten it and if you just finger tighten it well, it's gonna be fine. Again, if you don't have that strength like we described, you can use that screwdriver for a, just a gentle little kiss more of that thread. And we do have a video on how to master your needle threader. So when you're done changing your needles, you can get that thread back through and before you know it, you're off and sewing again. So yes, change your needles. If there's anything weird happening with the machine, just change your needle. That's usually the answer because if you call us, that's usually what we're gonna ask first. Or if you email me, that's also what I'm gonna ask. So try the, um, the, you know, make sure you have the right size of needles for the project that you're working on. That will make a difference as well. So keep a fresh needle in there and your machine will keep humming. And then check out our video that we will do next on how to clean your machine and keep it running in top condition.
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so we can continue to keep bringing you more free content on lots more machines for other sewers.